Oksana Markarova, Ukraine's wartime ambassador the United States, had to step outside her comfort zone be more persistent and outside the box in defending her country's existential needs in Washington. When develop relationships be diplomatic. Need be polite. Sometimes wait and this is something I had change after February 24. Markarova said, referring that day in an interview with The Hill. Markarova is the key figure in Kyiv's pressure on weapons, economic aid, verbal support and leadership from the world's most powerful country. Those countries' support is increasingly coming under pressure from GOP critics. I mean, previous four supplemental budgets weren't easy, he said when asked about the task of getting President Biden's latest request for more than $60 billion in support for Ukraine across finish line. These four additional bills that will support Ukraine in the past were very critical for us. We are very grateful to them. But we believe they are also very important for United States as the leader of free world. New Generation Female Ambassadors Markarova is also Ukraine's first female ambassador, serving at a time when more established diplomatic missions were sending female ambassadors for the first time. This includes the United Kingdom, Canada and Italy. The European Union will send its first female ambassador to Washington later this year. Markarova said she was a member. Working with so many female ambassadors has been a game changer, she said. Markarova Center marches down Pennsylvania Avenue to protest Russia's invasion of Ukraine as demonstrators celebrate Ukraine's 31st Independence Day in front of the White House in Washington. Asked whether working as a wartime ambassador in Washington changed her personality. Markarova points to a story about Kivi-born Golda Meir, who was Israel's prime minister during the 1973 Yom Kippur War. Call when call. Talk people when you need talk people. And do not hesitate reach the person reach because the life of country. Your citizen and family depends on it. We had to become more unconventional and sometimes not always adhere to diplomatic protocols. Russia's war in Ukraine has now lasted more than 21 months. And expectations are that Kyiv's efforts to oust all of Russia from its territory will be a war that will last years. Markarova said she team at the embassy had found a balance in their work compared to frantic and exhausting first few days. Weeks months after February 24, people see you and ask, How are you? They keep asking. How can you be when there is war at home? But I think the whole team here, we've found our new why, or our new balance, so to speak. We can even say that we are good. He said, every get closer to victory. Every day we get weapons. More support. Every talk to people is a good day. But of course we're not completely fine. Markarova arrived in Washington in April 2021 and spent the first seven months working on two fronts. It was clearly laying.